idiot! Huh, <sighs> she's lucky to be alive. And this is why you should not text and walk. Just keep watching. Is an adventure now for this phone addict, but all is well since she still has her phone in her hand. Well, hello there, car. Meet phone addict. This woman sure is lucky, as China's Jiangsu Provincial People's Hospital confirmed that she only suffered a minor injury on her left leg. You never know what's gonna happen when your face is buried in your phone. Cell phone addicts may exert up to 60 pounds of force on their spines. A recent study has found a surprising amount of force people place on their cervical spine when they tilt their heads to look at their smartphone devices. The head exerts 10 to 12 pounds of force on the spine even when the neck is positioned in a neutral upright position. When the neck is craned to 30 degrees, the force placed on the spine increases to 40 pounds, the equivalent of three bowling balls. Craned at 60 degrees, the spine is experiencing 60 pounds of force, which is roughly the weight of four bowling balls or an eight-year-old child. Smartphone users may be continually stressing their spine unless they train themselves to bring their phones up to eye level. It's estimated that Americans are spending about an hour on their phones daily. The pressures exerted on the spine may lead to early wear and degeneration of the spine. 12-year-old with text neck has the spine of a 50-year-old woman. An unidentified 9-year-old boy, let's call him Johnny, shall we, was rushed to hospital by his mother because the child was unable to bend his neck or turn his head. The previous day, Johnny had spent four hours playing games on his mother's iPad. The doctor x-rayed the 9-year-old's neck and was shocked to see that the ligaments in the boy's neck were beginning to show early signs of calcification. This is just one case among many. Last month, doctors examined a 12-year-old girl and discovered that the curve of her spine and the spinal column resembled that of a 50-year-old woman. The girl also spent long periods of time on her iPad, either reading or playing games, and it had caused her spine to straighten. This is because of the pressure put on the neck and spine when the head is in a lowered position. The posture and condition has been coined text neck and can lead to wear and tear on the spine, spinal degeneration, and surgery. It is a condition that is incredibly often found in children. Doctors explain that children are particularly susceptible to text neck since their bones and ligaments are more supple because they are still growing. Parents need to be more vigilant about the amount of time their children spend in the text neck posture. Not that anyone is blaming technology, just remember that you can look at a smartphone with your head up. So, chin up. Samsung just can't catch a break. Remember how Samsung had to replace all their Note 7s after the phone just couldn't shake its habit of self-immolation? Well, now it seems that at least one of those replacements has another bad habit, smoking. According to reports, passenger Brian Green was turning off his Note 7 on board a Wednesday morning Southwest Airlines flight from Louisville to Baltimore. All was well until his phone started heating up and puffing smoke. The Note 7 reportedly got so toasty that it burned a hole in the plane's carpet. After becoming aware of the situation, the crew evacuated 75 passengers from the plane. Reuters reached out to Green's wife, who said the phone was a replacement he got two weeks ago. Meanwhile, technology news website The Verge spoke to Green and did some digging on the phone's IMEI number and packaging. They found it to be a replacement device, unaffected by Samsung's recall. Samsung said they're working with authorities to determine the cause of the smoke and will comment further after they've examined the phone. Thankfully, this phone started smoking before takeoff, but just imagine if it all went down at 40,000 feet. Scary, right? Man's phone explodes in his pocket. Smartphone startup Xiaomi's copycat ways have backfired epically after its latest knockoff copied a rival phone's unfortunate tendency to explode. What's two parts Samsung, one part HTC, one part iPhone, and a whole lot of kablam? The Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. An Indian man learned this feature of the Redmi Note the hard way after his phone burst into flames in his pocket while he was biking to work. Bystanders had to douse his pants with water before they could pull the phone out. Shockingly, the mobile continued to burn despite all the H2O. The poor man sustained serious burns to his thigh and plans to sue the company over the defective unit, which he'd only had for 20 days. 